How to measure a compression spring. Put the spring vertically in between the calipers and we'll measure the OD, or outer diameter of the spring. This particular spring is 820 thousandths. We'll measure it again to re-verify. Again, that's 820 thousandths. And that's how you measure the outer diameter of the spring. Next, we're going to measure the wire diameter of the spring. This spring measures 92 and a half thousandths. Measure it again to re-verify. That's 92 and a half thousandths. Then measure from the middle coils. That's 92 and a half thousandths. From there, we'll measure the free length of the spring. This spring measures one inch 640 thousandths. Again, that's one inch 640 thousandths. Now, we're gonna count the number of coils. This is very important. Start at the second wire size. Why? Because it's not a full coil until it makes a 360 degree turn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember to start at the second wire size where it makes a 360 degree turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're gonna look down the barrel of the spring to determine which hand the spring is. You put the furthest leg away from you at 12 o'clock, and whichever way the spring faces is the type of spring it is. This particular spring is a right-handed spring, because if there were a leg attached to it, it would face to the right, and that makes it a right-hand spring. Sometimes your spring can have an eighth of a coil or three quarters of a coil, and to determine the exact measurement of your compression spring, we have designed this diagram to help you. Take your spring in your hand and make sure the last coil, the one furthest away from you, is at high noon or zero on the diagram. Because we want to determine the number of coils in your spring. Now count starting at the second coil and count towards you. Remember to count all the coils including any quarter, half, or three quarter coils at the end of the spring. For this purpose we've created this diagram so you can determine the exact number of coils in your spring. For example, if my spring ends at point 250, That means I have an extra quarter of a coil, which means the total number of coils plus a quarter coil. If my spring ends at point 5, that means I have an extra half a coil. And if my spring ends at point 75, that means I have three quarters of an extra coil. If your spring falls anywhere between these other points, see our diagram for further measurements. And this is how you correctly measure a compression spring.